here and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of a very simple yet powerful tool called Bo Board Booster, which is a Pinterest scheduling tool. Okay, there are three things that you can do with Board Booster. All right, and if you go to pinning tools, you will find out what those three things are. You can do campaigns, you can do scheduling, and you can do looping. And I'm going to explain which what each one of these is. With campaigns, basically all you're doing is repinning pins from personal boards to group boards. With the scheduler, you're scheduling new pins. And so if you have new blog posts or new content that you want to share to Pinterest, what you can do with Board Booster is to set up a secret board, have those pins um, um, put in the secret board, all right, and then schedule those pins out from the secret board to the boards that you specify to Board Booster to pin those um, pins too. I hope you can understand that. That's if scheduling is for um, new pins. Campaigns is for repins. And with looping, um, what looping is for is if you have a lot of pins. Um, let's say you have about three hundred pins on one board. Um, what it is is that your newest followers would not have seen the pins that are really, really pushed to the bottom. And so what you want to do is to loop those pins to be repinned to the same board so that they show up at the top chronologically, okay? Because with the Pinterest boards, usually you have your newest pins at the top and the oldest pins at the bottom. And looping allows you to just revive those old pins so that they're seen once again, okay? All right. The tool that I absolutely love to use with Board Booster is, a, is, the, is the campaigns tool because I have a lot of pins that I like to repin to um, group boards. And so I'm going to show you how to use that. Okay. So we're going to click on campaigns and if we click on campaigns, we're going to create a new campaign. I usually just go with random campaign just because I, you know, I can do whatever I want with random campaign. So I select that and then I, I'm just going to make it test one. And then we're going to hit, um, select the source of pins. Okay. So we're going to hit this right here, list of boards. Um, or you can do a list of pins. Okay. But I just go with boards. I add the boards I want to go with. All these are my personal, um, uh, my personal um, boards. Now it says that please note public group boards that you don't own cannot serve as a source of pins. Okay, so keep that in mind that you cannot use um, other people's group boards as your source of pins. You have to use your own board. So make sure you've pinned um, content, you've pinned images to your own boards so that um, board booster can take pins from those boards and then pin them to group boards for you. Okay. So we're just going to select maybe these two right here. Going to submit that. And then we're going to repin to, okay, target boards. So we're going to add some boards. And as you can see, most of these are group boards. So we're going to select a few of our group boards that we want to repin to. And then going to hit submit. All right. And then once you're done with that, what you can do is you can select how many pins you want to go on each board. And this is where you have to be careful to follow the rules of the group board. Every group board that is on Pinterest has a set of rules. Some are more stricter than others. Make sure you're paying attention to them, no matter how lax those rules are. Because if you go ahead and pin three times when they have said that Everybody can only pin once or everybody can only pin twice. You're violating that person's space and that could be grounds for you to get kicked off and you could lose potential traffic because of that. Okay, so let's be respectful of other people's spaces. Let's be respectful of other people's group boards and do exactly what they want us to do. And so I know I, out of my 15 or 20 group boards, I have two that allow me to pin up to five times per day. So I take advantage of that. There's some group boards that allow you to pin two times a day. There's some group boards that will not allow you to pin the same pin to their board, their board, you know, um, you know, within 30 days, like if you pin today, you can only repin that particular pin again in 30 days. So you have to be cognizant of all these rules and set the tool according to that. Okay. Set things up in board boost according to that. So 
typically people allow you to pin between one and three pins. If you have one of those boards that will not allow you to pin, you know, um, the same pin every, uh, unless it's after every 30 days, you can find a way to use any one of these to, um, to make that happen. All right. So I'm just going to choose two cause that's like a pretty neutral and common number. So we're just going to set that to two pins per day. Okay. Oh, oopsies. And once we set that, we're going to select the time. It's already set between 8 and 10 p.m. I love that time frame. Pretty much covers the whole day. And then you want to go into advanced settings, okay? And then with advanced settings, you can choose the days. I always choose all of them. We're only going to do tall pins because those are the pins that are optimized for Pinterest and that are more likely to get repinned. Then we're going to go into custom settings and then select a time interval. All right, and so you, you're just telling board briefs, okay, the minimum interval for reposting a pin to the same board is five days or seven days or 10 days or whatever. We're just gonna do seven days, all right? And we're going to save. And there you go, it loads up, okay? Um, and as you can see, this right here, blogging plus social is one that I created for myself. I've been using Board Booster for about a month and um, I'm using their lowest plan, which is the $5 per month plan. You can also sign up, um, to use um, it for free and they'll give you a hundred pins for free. So you can, if you want to test it out, you can do that. Um, but I use the $5 plan, which allows me to repin 500 pins per day. Repin, schedule, loop, 500 pins per month. Did I say per day? <laughs> 500 pins per month. And so currently I have um, 17 repins going out from two source boards to 12 group boards every single day. And I have a specific time interval I have set for it not to repeat pins so that I'm not repeating the same pin every single day on somebody else's board. That can get to be annoying and that can get you kicked off, okay? All right, so that's for campaigns. Um, it's also really, the instructions are really, really simple to follow for both the scheduler and the looping, but I'm also gonna do a quick overview of looping, okay? So like I said, with looping, what you're doing is you're taking the same pins from a particular board and you're repinning them so that they show up at the top of the board so that if you have some really really good content that your, your newer followers have never ever seen they get to see it as well okay so we can configure our looping basically just select the board continue tell this board that you want to do one or less pins per day or multiple pins per day i'm doing one pin per day choose the time um i'm gonna go with about 6 a.m because based on my metrics i found that 6 a.m is actually a really good time for me to well maybe seven is a good time for me to post um you can add a delay up to two hours okay um yes chronological oldest and newest i'm gonna go with tall and then run deduplication basically what a deduplication is is that um sometimes pinterest will not allow you to uh, repin the same pin to the to that board and it will give you like an error message um and so i with the deduplication what it's doing is that after repinning it will delete the duplicate pin Okay, so you can you can set that up as well. Um, protection for viral duplicates um, and, and so on like that. So you can just choose whatever you want to do. Let's, let's enable that. Heap duplicate pins with two more comments. Okay, there we go. Heap duplicate pins with 50 or more repins. And then we can submit that, okay? I like to go with the defaults because sometimes there's a reason why they're defaults. And then we submit that and that's it. Okay. That's how you set up a loop. Um, I personally think that if you have less than 50 pins on a board, looping may be a little excessive, but then again, <laughs> um, you know, there's no real rule to this. And so you can do whatever. But um, sometimes when you have fewer pins on the board, it may just not make sense to, to loop. But it's good to know that you have the option to loop. Now, I'm going to talk about some of the reporting tools that Board Booster has that's really, really cool. Uh, one of them is the best time to pin. 
And like I was telling you before, I found out that one of my best times to pin or when I get the most repins is between 6 and 7 a.m. So as you can see right here, it says 31 pins added between 6.30 and 7.30 received 0.6 repins on average. I, I have that same thing around, around, around 1 p.m. and then again around um, 8 p.m. Pacific standard time and so this is really really helpful because it tells you the best times that you could be pinning and so you can work around that and if you are still pinning manually um which is the reason you're going to get boot board booster because it saves you so much time um then you don't really need to manually pin but if you are still planning on maybe manually pinning a few things per day or you know, at least once a week then this is really helpful in helping you know which times to do that, right? It's also helpful with um, letting you know board performance, which one um, of the boards you're pinning to are you getting um, high repins for. As you can see, some of these boards are getting less pins than others, less repins on my pins than others. And so it's important to note that so that, you know, maybe with my campaigns, I could take this blogger tips board out because it's not really helping me get ahead with my goals. Okay. So that you can concentrate on the pins on the boards where you're getting higher repins. And so it's stuff like that. That's really, really super helpful in helping you optimize your Pinterest strategy. And that's one of the reasons I absolutely, absolutely love board booster. So give it a try. You can get a free trial trial all right get to absolutely free trial um for 100 pins test it out see how you like it but i find that board booster has been super helpful to me in helping me reduce the amount of time i spend um pinning stuff um and it allows me to dedicate that time to other things in my business and i have no doubt it will help you do the same okay